Hello and welcome to the Physical Black Sea training section. The scope of this training session is to provide an example on how to use the CMEMS Black Sea Physics Model product to visualize the main physical field in the Black Sea. This session has been developed by using Jupyter Notebook, an open source web application that allows to create documents containing live code, equation, visualization and narrative text. Such elements are positioned in cell, and the live code cell can be executed through the arrow button from the top menu. This uh, training session is organized in the following way. After a brief introduction on the objective of this exercise, detailed information about uh, the data and the Python module used during the session will be provided. Then I will guide you through four different exercises and finally we will derive some conclusion. More in detail, the proposed exercise will allow you to display horizontal maps of the different 2D and 3D variable, vertical section of temperature, salinity and density along a transect in the Black Sea, time series of temperature, salinity, currents in a given location using hourly and daily forecast data, maps for temperature, salinity and current, uh, related to maximum, minimal and standard deviation on the Western Basin using reanalysis product. Some preliminary information about the data used during uh, this training section. Exercise 1 to 3 make use of analysis and forecast data identified by the code 007 001. This is uh, the nominal physical product for the Black Sea near real time system that uh, provides uh, every day 3 or 14 days analysis and 10 days forecast for the main essential variable. This picture, taken from the Copernicus website, summarizes some important information. You can see the geographic uh, coverage, the list of the variable inside this product, and also the temporal coverage and the temporal resolution of the product. Uh, you can uh, consult the product user manual for detailed information about the product and the quality information document for information about quality and product validation. You can uh, download them from the uh, Copernicus website. This uh, uh, table summarizes uh, the parameters used for downloading the data using this training section. Specifically, we used the FTP service to download the listed data set for the period of interest, March 2020. Data are defined on the bull Black Sea domain and they are updated at daily frequency. For this uh, practical session, please note that you don't need to download the data since uh, they are available within this notebook, but you can try to download them by yourself. Follow the link to the tutorial if you need help about the different services for downloading the CMEMS product. Exercise 4 is based on reanalysis data identified by the product code 007004. This is the nominal multi-year physical product for the Black Sea and it provides reconstruction of the past ocean physics in the Black Sea over the period 1992-2018. And uh, again, this picture taken from um, the Copernicus uh, web portal um, summarize uh, some information like uh, the coverage, uh, the variable inside the product, uh, and uh, the temporal coverage uh, and uh, the temporal resolution of this product. But uh, you can find more information inside the product user manual uh, and also the quality information document. In this case, we use it, the, the subsetter service to download the dataset of interest 
containing uh, uh, information about temperature, salinity and currents from the CMEMS portal. As uh, summarized in the table, uh, the downloaded data are related to a partial domain and uh, consider the pe a 10 year period starting in uh, 2009. Also, in this case, you don't need to download the data since they are already inside this notebook. To develop the exercises proposed in this training section, the following Python module have been used. OS is a module used for managing path and creating directory. The GLOBE uh, module, this module finds all the path name matching a specified pattern according to the rules used by the Unix shell. NumPy is the fundamental package for scientific computing with Python. X-Array is uh, an open source project and Python package that uh, make working with multidimensional array simple and efficient. Matplotlib, a comprehensive library for creating uh, static, animated and interactive visualization in Python. Basemap, a library for plotting uh, 2D data on maps in Python and GSW. The Gibbs Seawater Oceanographic Toolbox that contains the Tiosten subroutine for evaluating the thermodynamic property for, of pure water and seawater. Let's observe that uh, this module works only with uh, Python uh, with version greater than 3.5. You can find more information about the listed modules accessing to the official page through the associated links. This part of the notebooks contain uh, information on how to install the uh, listed Python module for uh, in your in local. So this part is important only for local installation, but uh, we, we can skip this part during this training. So let's go through the exercise one. The scope of exercise number one is to present how to plot the essential variable provided by the Black Sea Physical Analysis Forecast product. In particular, from the operational daily mean, we compute the monthly average and we plot the mixed layer depth map. The objective is to extract physical information about mixing property in the Black Sea Basin. So, as first step, we need to import the Python module and set the environment. But first of all, for avoiding warning message during the execution and installation process, we can remove them by running this cell. As already explained, to run a live code cell, we use the arrow button from the top menu. We import the previously described Python module uh, in this way. So we can run also this cell and we can also import, import the GSW module. Then we set to constants variable called the region code and notable code to uh, the, the first one to the value 07 that uh, describe uh, the, that identify the black sea and the notable code to 01. The following two blocks of code define two different functions that will be used later. Check dir is a function for creating a directory is if it does not at 6. And get range indexes is a function for uh, getting the indexes of an array given the, um, var, uh, var, uh, the va value min and max. So we execute also this part. Then we set the input and the output data path. So um, the input path contain all the netcdf file used for exercise one and two. And while uh, in the we can see that the output path contain the value of uh, the constant variable, regional code, and notable code previously defined. 
we can check the that uh, the previously defined uh, path uh, are present inside the notebook or we can create them using the check dir function and we can list uh, um, the, the data inside uh, our home and also the data file inside the input directory in this way. Let's observe that the input directory contains many files and one, three different files for each day of March 2020. One containing information about salinity, one for temperature variable and another one for the mixer layer depth variable. So there are a lot of files. To access the data, we need, as first step, to locate the proper input file. To this purpose, we define three different variables uh, containing the different file name. So the file name, uh, for uh, example, uh, um, the data set regarding the temperature, the other one for salinity, and, also, and again for the mixer layer depth. Then uh, we build uh, the complete uh, a path name by, by joining uh, the uh, data path uh, that, is, that represent uh, the, um, the path uh, in which the input file are located and then variable uh, containing the file name previously defined. We use uh, the glob uh, method from the glob uh, library for searching for all files that match such path name. The globe method returns a list of file names that we save in a different variable. So we define again three different variables, one uh, for um, related to temperature, another one for the salinity dataset and another one for the mixed layer depth dataset. So we run piece of code and then we use the open MF dataset method from the X-Array library to open all the file as a single dataset. Specifically, we use the bicord option to combine the daily dataset into a single entity by inspecting the coordinates. At this point, we can run this part and at this point, the variable temds, solds, mrdds represent the X-ray dataset related to one amount of daily mean of temperature, salinity and mixer layer depth. Let's see how such data are organized, starting from the temperature. The, the, um, the info method from the uh, X-ray library allows to visualize a summary of the dataset variable and attributes. So, as we can see, the dataset, uh, the temperature dataset, uh, is characterized by the following dimension: depth, lat, long, time, and coordinates, and the following variable: theta o and bottom t. The first one represents the temperature defined on 31 vertical level and the second one represents the potent temperature. Uh, the, uh, data set, uh, the temperature dataset is also characterized by the following global attribute. Product used in this training section are net CDF file. Uh, we can use uh, the data var method uh, to retrieve information uh, about the variable and uh, the course method to retrieve information about the coordinates. Let's see that uh, um, the temperature variable is a 3D variable since uh, it is uh, defined on 31 vertical level, but we can check this just uh, running this cell of code. So we can uh, repeat uh, this, um, this part for uh, the salinity variable. 
So we retrieve information uh, about general information about the salinity data set using the info method and again information about uh, the variable inside this data set using the datavars method and uh, the let's observe that the name of the salinity variable inside this data set is SO. Also salinity is defined on the following coordinates longitude, latitude, depth and time. Then we can also get you know, the general information related to the mix and layer depth uh, data set and the mix layer depth uh, variable. Uh, we can observe that the mix and layer depth variable is a 2D variable since uh, it is defined on time, lat, uh, latitude and longitude coordinates. We can also uh, try to inspect uh, the other method uh, from the X-ray that uh, can help us uh, to um, investigate the characteristics of a dataset. Just uh, um, writing the name of the dataset, a dot, and then try to press the tab. For example, we can uh, use the attr uh, method to see information about uh, the global attribute of the dataset. Let's proceed setting the configuration and in particular setting the name of the coordinates on the basis of the information retrieved reading uh, the, uh, the, the dataset of interest and also the name of the variable and then in this uh, piece of code we can configure uh, the variable that we want uh, to plot. So first of all we uh, can select, um, the, choose the variable to plot uh, and for example we want uh, in this training we want to plot uh, the mix layer depth so um, we extract from the mix layer depth um, data set the mix layer depth variable we uh, set uh, the array of coordinates for uh, the selected uh, variable so we set the latitude, longitude uh, and time in this case uh, the mixed layer depth is a 2D variable so uh, the depth array uh, will, not, will be empty we can also set uh, the area of interest, so the area that we want to plot and um, we can decide to plot the custom area or the full area. In this case, we uh, just use the min and max uh, function uh, to retrieve uh, um, information about the mini minimum and maximum value, value of latitude and longitude coordinates. In uh, this part, we can also uh, set the, the minimum uh, and maximum value uh, to use in the color bar, but we can also decide to uh, use the automatic uh, color bar limit, as in this case. Finally, we, set, we can also uh, set the, um, the decided, uh, desired depth in meter and uh, in this case for, um, we want to plot uh, the information at zero meter also because the mix layer depth is defined only at the surface. And um, this piece of, of code containing um, just some uh, line of code uh, that are needed to configure uh, the image, so for configure the plotting function. So we can see that there are uh, information about uh, how to uh, configure the map, uh, the label of the axis, uh, configure the color bar, and so on. Um, the only line of code that uh, is important to comment is uh, this one. With this line of code, we uh, evaluate uh, the um, average of the um, variable uh, in, in the month. So along the time coordinates. 
Then we can set the path of the output file and plot our figure. The mixed layer depth represents the thickness of the layer in which the water is well mixed. So all properties of the water are homogeneous. The mixed layer depth is important to detect areas of uh, subsurface water mass formation. But you can find um, further information in the dedicated cell inside the notebook. This one. Now, you can try to change the plot. For example, you can try to change the variable to plot, the area of interest, the mean and max value, values for the chosen variable, and if you decide to plot a 3D dataset, you can also change the depth level. Go to exercise 2. The scope of exercise number two is to present how to plot the relevant uh, section on transect in the Black Sea Basin, to understand the physical property and vertical dynamics. In particular, from the monthly mean computed within exercise one, for a given relevant section, we plot temperature, salinity, and we compute and plot density. We decided to provide information on a zonal transect, as you can see here. Uh, it spans from the Danube area of influence to the Crimean Peninsula to the Russian coast. So, first of all, we properly set the mean and max value of coordinate. And then we found the indexes using the previously defined get, index, get rand indexes function. We then uh, extract uh, the coordinate subset, lone cell, lat cell, and depth cell, and uh, we evaluate uh, the monthly mean of uh, temperature, salinity, and mixer layer depth, and we store them in three different uh, variables, this one, and finally we set the variable uh, of interest that we want to plot. If you want to check uh, a variable content, just uh, write, uh, you can try to write here his name and, and run this uh, uh, cell. For example, the depth contains 27 value. The code block in this cell just set some configuration parameter used in the following plot, such as the label of the axis, the color bar configuration, the title, the fonts of the label, and so on. So we can run this part. This code block define the plot uh, function. Plot transect re represent the function for plotting the transect. It accepts as input the following parameter, the data to plot, the mean value and the max value of such data. And um, it, you can also um, calculate uh, this uh, mean and max valued inside uh, the, the function, um, just extracting this uh, information from uh, the data, automatically extracting this information from, uh, from the data with these two lines of code. At this point, we can try to plot the transact for so we run this part. At this point, we can try to plot uh, the transect for the temperature. We need only to select the, the right dataset and call the plot function. This take uh, time. Okay. 
We can notice uh, the presence of the cold intermediate layer at about 8 uh, degrees in the first 100 meter. That is one of the main pe peculiar physical properties of basin scale. Higher temperature is observed uh, at uh, the surface layer. Again, uh, we can um, select the new data set and uh, use the plot transact function to, uh, in this case, plot uh, the salinity. This uh, second transect describes the mean salinity in the same period, fresher water are shown in the surface, while saltier water characterizes the deepest layer. It's, uh, uh, it is basically due to the intrusion of Mediterranean water through the phosphorus trace. Finally, we here it's, uh, this, line of, uh, this uh, cell um, uh, contains the definition of the plot density function. The plot density function allows to plot the transact for density and uh, mixed layer depth comparison. Specifically, it accepts as input uh, parameter the data to plot and also the mixed layer depth data. Um, the, the first, the data to plot, uh, that is the density that we want to plot is uh, then plotted using uh, this function contour fill while uh, the mixer layer depth uh, is uh, plot, uh, plotted using the plot function from the matplotlib uh, library. So we can just run this part. Uh, in this piece of code, uh, we first of all calculate uh, the density by using uh, um, the sigma zero method defined inside uh, the GSW library. So we select the density, we call plot data density, and then we, uh, we call uh, the plot density function. Uh, using uh, uh, these two input uh, value, plot data and mix and layer depth. Can run this part. This transact represents the density computed for the same period of interest. Dense water are in their deepest layer below 100 meter while surface layers are characterized by lowest density value. The level at which the mixing is more pronounced is around 20 meter, and it is represented by this black line. Let's go to the exercise number three. The scope of exercise number three is to visualize the forecasted temperature, salinity and current time series in a given location. This is an interesting example of how a user could query the black scene analysis and forecast product and simply return relevant physical information about the sea condition and the forecasted period. We can use uh, daily or hourly forecast dataset. Uh, specifically, there are two options. You can decide to visualize the 10 days forecast with daily values or the 5 day forecast with hourly values. So the first step is access the data. As uh, seen in the, in the previous example, first of all we set the uh, data path, uh, the input data path, and uh, then we define uh, the file uh, name uh, for daily and uh, hourly dataset and uh, we build uh, the complete path uh, to uh, the file of interest uh, again for daily and hourly. We open uh, the dataset uh, using uh, uh, the open dataset uh, function from the X-ray method. And oh, 
we run this part and then we can start to configure our uh, plotting. First of all, we identify the point of interest, uh, defining its depth, lat and long indexes. We can check uh, the point coordinate in the grid by selecting the value of a variable, for example, uh, the temperature variable. Um, and uh, we can use uh, using the chosen point uh, indexes. So we can try to print latitude, longitude, and depth at this point. Then we extract uh, temperature, uh, salinity, U and V uh, uh, velocity components for the point of interest from the proper daily and uh, hourly data set. And next cell contains the code that defines the plotting function. Starting from the extracted data set, um, the func the, it, this function plots the time series of temperature variable in red, uh, salinity in green, the velocity in blue, and also visualize uh, the velocity direction by plotting green arrow using uh, the matplotlib uh, pyplot to quiver function. Let's run this cell. We can now use uh, such function to plot uh, the daily da data and also the hourly data. So the first plot shows the 10 days forecast time series, while the second plot fo focuses on the 5 day forecast time series. If you want, you can try to change the grid point and plot again these images. The scope of exercise number four is to perform regional climate analysis of ocean states in the Black Sea using the multi-year analysis product. For a given region, we plot 2D maps of average, maximal and minimal sea surface temperature, temperature at depth of 70 meters, surface currents, uh, to understand local typical physical dynamics. As uh, for the previous example, First of all, uh, we set the path for the, net C for the input netcdf file. Uh, this variable defines the uh, name of the um, uh, input file. We use three different files, one for the surface temperature, another one for uh, the temperature at, uh, the, um, at 70 meters, and the last one uh, for um, the velocity. After creating uh, the complete path name, we open the dataset by using the open dataset method of, uh, from the X-Ray library. So now we have the three different uh, datasets inside these three different uh, variables. And uh, uh, we can try to print the depth level for each dataset. Then uh, this line, uh, this uh, cell define uh, the plot uh, data function. Uh, it uses uh, the matplotlib uh, library for plotting data on maps. And uh, this function is very similar to the one used during the first uh, exercise. So we can go through it uh, very quickly. Basically, after um, the map configuration setting, as you can see, set the coordinate and so on, the function plot uh, the map configuration, the axis, the configuration of the label of the axis, uh, and uh, so on. Uh, the map 
the, this uh, function uh, um, plot uh, the data by using again the contour f contour f method from the matplotly library. So we can try to run and then uh, we can check the name of the variable and uh, the unit by using this piece of code the temperature unit degree celsius and also the temperature the inside the SST dataset so now we evaluate the average sea surface temperature by using the numpy mean method and we use the plot data function previously defined to plot such data again we can try to evaluate the maximum uh, sea surface temperature and in this case we use uh, this uh, function uh, max from the uh, numpy library plot the map and the same for the minimum sea surface evaluate the minimum sea surface temperature and plot the map and also the standard deviation for the SST we can calculate the same maps uh, considering the data set related to the temperature at 70 meter first of all we evaluate uh, the average temperature and plot uh, the, this value and uh, the maximum temperature again the minimum values and uh, the standard deviation For now we can consider the uh, velocity data set and again we calculate uh, the average surface current velocity and uh, plot uh, this data by using the plot data function we evaluate uh, the maximum sea surface temperature and plot uh, this information and finally the standard deviation exercise 4 concludes uh, this um, black sea training section and uh, i hope you enjoy it and thank you for your attention <laughs> Thank you.